reference angles. So we need to know what a reference angle is and then you might ask why in the world do we need to know what to do with reference angles. So that's what we're going to talk about. So what a reference angle is. If we have our x and y axis here and we go and we draw in our angles just like we normally do. So let's pretend we want to draw a 120 degree angle. So we know that's a positive 120. We go counterclockwise. This is 90. This is 180. So 120 is up in this direction somewhere. So this is a 120 degree angle. Okay, a reference angle, what a reference angle is, the definition of a reference angle, is it's an acute angle formed by the x-axis, always the x-axis, and the terminal side. Okay, so in the case of our 120 degree angle here, we want an acute angle that is formed by the x-axis and the terminal side of our angle, which is the side right here. So that would be this acute angle right here. That's our reference angle for 120 degrees. And we need to know how big that is. Well, if this is 120, then the acute angle to get to 180 would be 60 degrees. Reference angles are always positive and we're always going to the x-axis. So let's do another example. If we have one down here, let's say we have 330 degrees. So the acute angle formed by this terminal side and the x-axis is this one. So how far is it from here to here? Well this is 360 so this is 30 degrees. Another way I think of a reference angle, you know, not in such fancy words up there, is I just think of it's the quickest way to get to the x-axis. And again, doesn't matter, positive, negative, doesn't matter. We're just trying to get to the x-axis the fastest way we can and it's always going to be positive. Why do we need these? When we get onto the unit circle tomorrow, you'll see that these reference angles are going to come in very handy. Okay, so we've been dealing in two systems the last week or so, and we're going to be dealing in these two systems again when we're doing reference angles. So when you're calculating, if you're in degrees, we're either going to be going to 0, 180, or 360 because those are the numbers that are on the x-axis. And if we're in radians, we're either be going to 0, pi, or 2 pi. Because again, those are the values that are on the x-axis in radians. All right, so let's just do a couple more examples. Sorry, my papers are stuck together. All right, here we go. So, and until you get the hang of this, it might really help you to draw the pictures. 315 degrees. All right, here's 270. Here's 360. 315 is going to be down here somewhere. So if I want an acute angle, that's this one. This is the faster way to get to the x-axis. So from 315 to 360 is 45 degrees. If I can't do that in my head, what am I doing? I'm doing 360 minus 315. That's 45. Okay, negative 83 degrees. So negative 83 degrees. So I'm going in the negative direction. I'm going this way. This is 90. So negative 83 is going to be down there. Now, again, remember, we've got to be going to the x-axis. People get tempted. They think, oh, that's right there. Nope, we're going to the x-axis. So we can either go here or we can go up there. Well, the faster way is to go back up this way. So how far is it from here to here? It's just 83 degrees because it's the same 83 degrees that we just moved down. All right, 127. So 127, there's 90, there's 180, 
127 is going to be up there. So how far is it? So which way do we want to go? We either go this way or we go this way. This way's faster. So we're going to go that way. So 180 minus 127 is 53 degrees. So our reference angle for 127 is 53 degrees. Okay, 742. Who help us. All right, so we know we're going to have to go around the circle more than once. We're going to have to go around the circle more than twice. 742 is going to fall up here. So this is the better way to go. So you have two options here. If you know that two circles is 720, then it's much easier just to subtract 720 from here and quickly get 22 degrees. But if you end up going around a bunch of times and you can't remember what's going on, then you just keep subtracting 360 from this until we can get to a smaller number that we can deal with. Okay, let's do a couple of examples in radians. 5 pi over 3. So let's try to remember how to graph radians here. So remember this is 0, this is pi over 2, which is the same as half pi, this is 1 pi, and this is 3 pi over 2, which is 1 and a half pi. So if it's 5 pi over 3, well 3 pi over 3 would be 1, right? 3 over 3 equals 1, so 3 pi over 3 would be right here. We still have 2 thirds left of that. So we're going to be down here because two-thirds is bigger than a half. So we have to figure out quicker to go this way or this way. Well, it's quicker to go this way. All right, so now how do I figure out how much that is? Well, you can either just think about it. This was two-thirds, so this is one-third. Oh, go me. One-third pi or one pi over three or just pi over 3. The other way is, again, we're going to that 2 pi, which is also here. Well, 2 pi minus 5 pi over 3, you would have to make common denominators. So this would become 6 pi over 3. And when you subtract those, you still get 1 pi over 3. OK, negative 2 pi over 5. Let me move this down here and I'm going to do this one down here because we're running out of space. Negative 2 pi over 5. Again, this is, if we're going backwards, this is negative pi over 2. Right? It's positive 3 pi over 2, but if we're going backwards, these two kind of flip. So 2 pi over 5. 2 over 5 is less than half because 2.5 would be half. So 2 pi over 5 would be down here negative 2 pi over 5, sorry. So quicker to go this way, this is the acute angle right here, that's an obtuse angle. So how far is it from here to here? Well we just came down 2 pi over 5, so if we want to go back the same way, it's just 2 pi over 5 is your reference angle. Okay, let's do this one up here and then we'll do the last one back down at the bottom again. 7 pi over 4 so here we go. This is a half pi, pi over 2. Well, if we're in fourths, that would be two fours. Two fourths is one half. This is one pi. If we're in fourths, that would be four pi over four, right? Four fourths is one. So going to here, that uses up four of my seven, so I still have three to go. Well, three fourths is bigger than a half. So 3 fourths is going to fall over there. So this is 7 pi over 4. This is my acute angle. So I want to keep going to 2 pi. That's my faster way to get there. So again, you can either do it in your head and realize that this is this was 3 fourths. So there's still 1 fourth to go. So it's going to be pi over 4. Or you can do 2 pi minus 7 pi over 4. Make your common denominators, so this needs to be a 4, so multiply that by 4, you get 8, and you still get 1 pi over 4 when you subtract. Okay, last one, negative 13 pi over 3. 
All right, so again, this is one pi. So if we're in thirds, this is three over three. It takes three to get to there. We're going negative, so we're going this way. So we've got three, six, nine, 12 takes me back around to here. So then I still have one more to go. So negative 13 pi over three is down there. My acute angle is here. So I don't want to go this way. How far did I go down here? Well, I just had one to go down, right? Because remember at 12, we were here. So I only went down one more to get to there. So if I want to go back up to there, then my reference angle is one pi over three. How would you do that if you wanted to use that whole two pi thing? So you'd have two pi plus 13 pi over three, negative 13 pi over three, sorry. Then you would have to, you make that six pi over three, but you have to keep going just like we had to do sometimes with our coterminal angles because that's still not a reference angle. That's still too big. So we would have to keep adding that six pi over three until we got down to something that we could handle. But it's much easier to just kind of use your brain and think about how far did I go? Well, here I was at 12 pi over three. So to get to here, I only had to go one more. All right, so again, you need to finish worksheet 5-1 by Monday, and reference angles are on there. So if you want to go ahead and practice, that would be a place to practice.